Good morning, chicos. Buenos días. Buenos días. Uh, welcome to your elementary Spanish 2 class. It's online and um, we have this plan for today. Let me share my screen with you. Just a second. Well, I'll just put here this. Okay, chicos, we are starting a new class, mainly Spanish 1, 112, elementary Spanish 2, online this summer, summer 3, 2018. And day one plan is as it follows. We have our faith integration, which is the first piece. And then actually the first part is to introduce the course and to, take, to, to mention a few things that you guys need to know to put the pieces together on, on how to function in this class, see? Um, so let me, um, let me go ahead and start with our devotion. I need to make this bigger. I wanted to read to you Psalm 91, Salmo 91, as part of our devotion today to lift up your heart and your um, determination for working uh, five hours a day during the next 10 days on completing this, uh, this elementary Spanish class. It is, it is a lot of work. Um, it, this is not a warning. This is a, I'm not trying to scare you, but we, we work a lot. But we accomplish uh, a whole semester in 10 days. See? This is an intensive course. Uh, so we need energy, we need determination, and we need the Lord by our side so they, that he help us stay motivated and disciplined uh, when uh, working on, a, on such, a, such a task. Because it's, it's, I admire you guys. It is, it is a, a, really, a, a really heavy and difficult to do task. So let's read Salmo 91. El que habita al abrigo del Altísimo morará bajo la sombra del Omnipotente. Diré yo a Jehová, esperanza mía y castillo mío, mi Dios, en quien confiaré. Él te librará del lazo del cazador, de la peste destructora, con sus plumas te cubrirá, y debajo de sus alas estarás seguro. Escudo y adarga es su verdad. No temeráis, no temerás el terror nocturno ni saeta que huele de día, ni pestilencia que ande en oscuridad, ni mortandad que en medio del día destruya. Caerán a tu lado mil y diez mil a tu diestra, mas a ti no llegará. Ciertamente con tus ojos mirarás y verás la recompensa de los impíos, porque has puesto al Señor, que es mi esperanza, al Altísimo por tu habitación. No te sobrevendrá mal, ni plaga tocará tu morada, pues a sus ángeles mandará cerca de ti, que te guarden en todos tus caminos. En, los, en las manos te llevará, para que tu pie no tropiece en piedra. Sobre el león y el áspid pisarás, hollarás al cachorro del león y al dragón, por cuanto en mí ha puesto su amor, yo también lo libraré. Le pondré en alto por cuanto ha conocido mi nombre. Me invocará y yo le responderé. Con él estaré yo en la angustia. Lo libraré y le glorificaré. Lo saciaré de larga vida y le mostraré mi salvación. The, the, the determination and that love from that we receive from the love from the lord every day uh and that certainty that faith that 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 shows certainty so others see how wonderful our god is and that faith that help us stay strong until the end and determined to complete every task and every mission that he puts in our hearts you guys are here for a reason learning this language it might help you help somebody and that will be helping God's creation. So stay determined, stay strong, and let us God bless us through his word. I'm gonna look bigger because I zoom out. Okay. Muy bien. So 
elementary Spanish two is the second part of the elementary the elementary part, the first year uh, Spanish courses. And uh, the general information about this class, uh, uh, we are on Moodle. We have our our staff, our all our, all our materials here posted on Moodle. So we have um, um, assignments and everything is there. We also use my Spanish lab which I am gonna open here for you. So you saw that link that you have here, you need it and we have the course ID. We're gonna be talking about that. Let me, let me open my syllabus for this class, see? In terms of description, uh, uh, this class is a proficiency oriented course designed to provide functional elementary foundation for basic skill in speaking, listening, reading, and writing in Spanish along with integrated uh, study of culture. This is an elective course only and uh, no proficiency is needed. You, uh, uh, you, you, you completed Spanish 111 or were placed by the placement test and that's why you are taking this class. Um, chicos, um, in terms of proficiency, which is a, the course is a proficiency oriented course. Keep in mind when we talk about proficiency is the ability to function in the language and, and in a second language in this case. Uh, at the novice level, we are only able to uh, complete some, to accomplish some functions. And the functions of the uh, novice level or elementary um, are to list, to uh, use uh, phrases and uh, in short sentences that we have memorized. Um, so we mimic uh, and we repeat and we produce um, uh, um, written and oral text based on chunks that we have learned. So don't, don't feel bad about not being able to create with the language, combining and recombining uh, elements to tell your truth, because that's not from the elementary or novice level, that is the intermediate level. So we are getting there, but here we are setting the foundations, okay? See, okay. Mm, what are the uh, learn the uh, ob objective of the class? We have we have here six ob ob uh, objective. See that um, for example, we want to offer you the opportunity to express correctly using basic Spanish vocabulary, creating those lists and ch those chunks. We want to increase your ability to participate in, course in conversation using correct pronunciation and syntax. We want to develop your um, oral and uh, oral proficiency through guided conversations. And we have um, interviews and in, uh, um, marathons, oral activities for, for that. We also have recording on my Spanish lab, so improves your pronunciation. Um, we want to provide you guys with an opportunity to read out loud sentences as well as paragraphs. And we want to develop your uh, listening skills in interaction with authentic text. Um, there are some aspects of culture that we want to introduce you and you are going to be exposed to them in the presentation of every, every chapter. Um, there are more specific goals that we are going to be covering, but I'll let you read uh, on your own with that. Uh, and topics we're going to cover, we, are, we have a list of them here, see? So we mainly work on preterito, past tenses, and we work on um, uh, conditional and um, perfect tenses as well as future. Um, in terms of evaluate, course evaluation, we have these pieces. We have participation and preparation. We have exams, compositions, final exam, workbook, oral activities, conversation, conversational marathons, and, and, and which are part of the oral activities as well as the oral exam. Um, talking about each one of them for, uh, for the ones who are just joining the class and were not in elementary one, let me tell you that um, exams are posted on Moodle and you are supposed, uh, you, you will be a uh, completing task on listening, on, on compiling in the blanks, it, 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 and uh, recording tasks uh, for exams that we will, will be some of them will be automatically graded and some pieces I will be grading. So the test, the, the, which are two, um, we have them on Moodle. 
Then we have uh, compositions. They are also on Moodle. And uh, it, it is, um, uh, you, you have a set of instructions and you uh, follow those instructions and, and complete that composition. Try to avoid translating, try to avoid, um, to avoid using vocab or structures that are not in the in the content or the of the materials that we have covered because that is not your spanish and you don't have to show that you control the language because at this level you do we do the minimum okay so feel confident about just uh staying in within the boundaries of the uh, functions of this course at, in this level novice okay we have a final exam uh, the final exams are, are similar to the ones uh, we did in elementary one. They are mini compositions in which you demonstrate your ability to, uh, them, to prove that you have accomplished and are able to perform the functions of the novice level. We every day have um, workbook online activities and uh, that would be that would be a big part of the uh, the hours that we complete every day and then in the oral activities lord willing uh, we we meet on on zoom and i interview you and you guys have a marathon this this is a, a class in which we we are able to communicate to contact each other and uh, have a, a video conference together so we we are gonna do that see that's that i'll explain to you when the time comes about that see so here you have more detailed information on the on the uh, um assignments the attend the uh, the uh, all the policies you are supposed to watch these videos and um like them and apply the content and the ideas and the book up and the structures of those uh, of that video in the exercises in the composition it has to show so your participation and all your grades reflect the progress that are, are presented in connection with the videos and the assignments okay so let's go back to the main page here on moodle um, and um, let me tell you now about the online workbook that we have we have my Spanish lab, you have the link here, and you have the course ID. You're gonna buy access on my Spanish lab if you already have it because you were in what Spanish 111 or if you have taken classes and you already have an, an account with my Spanish labs or my my labs in Pearson, then you already you don't need to open an account. But if you uh, uh, um, don't have an account, uh, then, we need to come here. Yes, this is the link that takes us here. So you're gonna go here to student and it'll, it'll tell you what you need to get started. You need you email your email address, instructor course ID, and that instructor course ID, this is information is right here that's highlighted in green this is the instructor uh the instructor course id which is our course id see and then access code you need to buy the access code it's not the same thing as the course id okay you buy the access code with your credit card or your paypal account and you proceed see so what is the textbook that we use it is arriba and i didn't i didn't include a photo of arriba but that's not difficult to get um for you chicos let me stop this this is the image that I was, this is the uh, textbook image that I was talking about. We have Arriba Comunicación y Cultura, see? But you don't need to buy the textbook, the print, printed version. You just, with the, uh, with the, um, when you register here on Pearson for my Spanish lab, 
uh, following this link that is right here, you guys are gonna be able to uh, to accomplish and complete the purchase. Um, buy the minimum access because we only need one semester. Uh, the uh, other students who are in one who were in one eleven, they are just not gonna buy any any new um, uh, material. They are just gonna um uh, at this class this new class okay and the ones who don't have access to to this they are going to purchase the access code they are going to use the course id and they are going to open an account to be able to access all the exercises uh, that we have every day that is basically what happens in this class we uh we work, i record these videos give you instructions give you um the information explanations uh and present the vocab and the conversations and then you guys go to my spanish lab and do the exercises i'll grade uh, some materials from my spanish lab and i grade the materials on moodle okay that is what happens in this class um the Rest of the plan for today, since we have four more uh, periods to cover, it, it's to continue with segunda parte, second part of chapter six in vocab, where we talk about food and preparing meals and recipes. And the learning objective for that session is that at the end of the period, you guys will be able to discuss food cooking and recipes then on the third period we have past tense preterito of regular verbs and in that part we are the goal is that you guys are able to talk about events events that occurred in the past applying the same the same one for the uh, for the fourth period and then we change topic and chapter in the last in the last uh, part part of the day uh, when we talk about el fin de semana and free or spare time that therefore the, the learning objective of that part is that at the end of that period you guys will be able to talk about activities you guys like to do in your free time so for now this is it just the introduction of the class and um, in a minute, I'll be with you in the second video. In, a, in two clicks, I'll be with you uh, presenting the, the, first, the first piece of the day in terms of content, which is going be um, is going to be book up, see the conversation. So thank you and see you immediately in the next video.